Here we have a question of geometry. PQRS is a parallelogram with PQ is equal to 10 and QR is equal to 6. And then he says T is the midpoint of QR and SU is perpendicular to PT. What is the length of RU? Let's start talking about it from here. So he says PQ is 10. So this length is given as 10. QR is equal to 6. So this length is given as 6. T is the midpoint of QR. That means this length is 3. This length is also 3. And SU is perpendicular. So this is perpendicular to PT. What is the length of RU? We have to find out the length of RU. First of all, I have a line segment PT here. right? So from point R, if I draw a line which is parallel to PT, so can I say it will also give me a length of 3 here because it will also become a parallelogram now. Opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. I hope you are getting it. I draw a line parallel to PT. So if I draw a line parallel to PT and it meets PS here, so this line and this line are parallel. These two lines are parallel. So of course, length of this side would also be equal to this. So this is also 3. So this would also be 3. It becomes also a midpoint. But there is another important point. Let's call this point as, uh, uh, I mean, uh, W. Can I say this RW is parallel to PT? So in triangle PSU, in triangle PSU, if I call this point as V, can I say V will also be the midpoint of this line segment? Reason using midpoint theorem. In triangle PSU, from the midpoint of a side, a line is drawn parallel to the third side. It will automatically go through the midpoint of the other side as well. And there is another important point. If this SU is perpendicular to PT, SU will be perpendicular to RW as well because PT and RW are parallel. If a line is perpendicular to a line, then it will also be perpendicular to the line parallel to that, right? So it will be perpendicular to this as well. So point is that in triangle RUS, in triangle RUS, you would see that this is the median, this RV is the median because it is the midpoint and median is also the perpendicular. When median is also the perpendicular, that means the triangle is isosceles and RS is equal to RU. If RS is equal to RU, so RS is 10, RU is also 10 and that's what the question is asking you. Now, you might have this question, how are you saying in an isosceles, it has to be an isosceles triangle. Though it's a property, but you can it, uh, prove it easily as well. I mean, if you look at these two triangles, they are congruent. UV is equal to VS. RV is a common side and the angle between them is 90 degrees. So by using SAS property, you can say they are congruent. And because they are congruent, I can say RU is equal to RS. By that logic, RU is equal to 10. So it was a tricky question. I would say I would not rate it as an easy question, but it was a tricky question. If person is good in geometry, he would be able to do it otherwise not.